get rid of a smelly kettle I put it basically I um, should say diet ginger ale in there or you could use carbonated soda or a slice of lemon to actually clean this and rinse this out as you can see here I want to try and sort of sort it out and uh, let's try and put the uh, Sink obviously. Now I'm going to be trying to balance the phone. Near the sink. So this is not going to happen near the sink. Hopefully the phone won't fall down. I hope not. So there we go. So you just give it a bit of a shake. We you swizzle the kettle around as you see. And yeah, do this with the kettle. And you tip the Excess stuff out in the kettle into the sink. There we go. So, kettle. And, uh, yeah. Now you've got to do is, it may have stopped the smell, I don't know. But, uh, you see, it's empty now. To clean this out, you know, you've got to put a bit of soda stuff in it. So I'm going to put some garlic soda in it. Let's see how I balance my phone. Hold on two seconds. Yeah, it's one of the things that balance. Just put this inside here. But sometimes they're hard to open. inside there is that white stuff so you put some of this into the kettle I think as you can see hands are all thingy with the soda you tip it into the kettle then you're going to use a slice of lemon to actually clean it out so what I'm going to do now is show you tip this into the kettle there you go oh that's about enough really or you don't want too much with this stuff is it with the you know, it's what you use for bacon I presume then you use a sliced lemon so I've got to use a knife to use a sliced lemon so then we leave it for a while and hopefully it will clean out the kettle so as you're buying a new kettle then I don't know, let's try and use the sliced sliced lemon it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass I've got to try and Slice the lemon and uh, hold on a second. Sorry to keep moving the phone around, but uh, I'm trying to find a good angle to actually show you what I'm trying to do here. But the phone won't stay in the same place again. So, as you can see, slice the lemon, lemon. I'm going to try and cut the lemon into half as you can see lemon then if it's picking up on the phone I'm slicing the lemon or I may have to put the lemon a bit more this way so you can actually see what I'm doing there you go sliced lemon then we put the lemon and squeeze it into the kettle this is what some people do but I think everyone's different as you're going to see the lemon is going to be squeezed into the kettle there you go. I don't know what it's going to do, but as you can see it fizzing, it will clean, hopefully clean the kettle. And then you fill it up with water, or rinse it out with water later because it cleans the bits out of the bottom. See the thing going yellow and white? The reasons how I found this out is because my kettle started smelling, you see. So I decided to get a lemon and hopefully with the squeezed lemon and soda and stuff after a couple of hours it will get rid of all that lime scale so as you can see here 
some people may find this video interesting, some people may do it a different way to me, but saying that, it's all the same really. There we are. So I just what I need to do now is I'll put this that lemon in, let it set for a while and fizzle up. And the, the soda stuff and leave it there, and then I can put the water in it and it'll be all sorted. But anyway, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a like, give it a comment, and uh, share it with your friends. And you try this yourself if you've got a smelly kettle, then put some lemon, lemons in it and soda stuff like this, and um, it may work. Or you may decide to use a ginger ale. Anyway, thank you for joining me. See you next one, peace. That's how you get a lime scale. Anyway, see you next video, peace.